second game. It's that team they did lose to. It's the Dolphins. The Hammer, he's at fullback. We've got a Dolphin named after him after scoring the first try for this squad. So there is now a Dolphin called the Hammer. And yes, we're doing this. I have messaged them on Instagram and hopefully they do send us a few fins down so that we can wear them for the next couple episodes. Jermaine Asako, Ewan Aitken, Branko Lee, Tessie New. Katoa does keep his position in the house with Sean O'Sullivan, or as you like to say, Nathan Cleary 2.0. Jesse Bromwich, JMK in the nine, Jared Wallace, Kafusi, Kenneth Bromwich, and obviously Tom Gilbert locking the scrum. Connolly Lemielu does come into this squad. The GOAT, Mark Nichols, Mason Teague, Kurt Donahue, and Poasa Famasuli. That is how we round out that squad now. Backside of Dolphins. They got up for the first game. It was an absolute cracker. They've got a sold-out crowd for their second game. I think they're slowly becoming everyone's second team if you're not playing against them. Can they go 2-0 to start the season? Or do you see them obviously falling in this game to the Raiders? Mute. There I am. Sorry about that. Just checking some emails while Tony was carrying on. Look, this squad is looking good. They play at KO Stadium, which I think is their home ground now. Um, they're not playing out of Suncorp Stadium anymore. Um, they are going to, up against the Raiders, who do come off that one-point loss to the Cowboys away. Um, this isn't a another Suncorp Stadium field, but I reckon they'll get up for the faithful. The Hammer Dolphin will will look at look like he'll slip and slide through that forward pack of the Canberra Raiders, and mate, if JMK can do what he did last week, this week, um, he'll be surely a, a, a shoe in for six points for the Daly M, which we'll touch on in our last preview game. Um, our man March Nichols, don't don't call him Mark. It's March Nichols. We all know who it is. He's going to score again, and. Um, it's going to be another exciting game to watch again. Yeah, man, if Jeremy Marshall King can pull off what I believe and what a lot of people believe is probably the best game of his young career so far, mate, the sky's the limit for this kid. So let's hope he does keep pushing. Now, throwing it over to your, they were a top four side. We may have gone back a little bit, like you said, but talk to me mm -hmm. about this Canberra Raiders, Ricky Stewart side. Ah, we got Sebastian Chris in the fullback role with Nick Kotrick. And a new Albert Hopawate in the wing position. We'll touch on Jordan Rapana's suspension a little bit later with Matthew Matoko and HSS in the center roles. We've got Jack Martin and Jamal Fogarty in the halves pairing. We've got PS with Joseph Tarpany in the front row position with Davin Levi to make the hooker role. Hudson Young and Elliot Whitehead to make the second row with CHN to make the lock position with Tom Snarling, A.M., Corey Honesborough, and E.G., mate, I'm not pronouncing that name, to make the bench with James Shilly Shiliar. Come on, mate. It's Emre Gula. Emre nah, Gula. It's nah, name. sorry. Nah, it's not for me. Next week, next week you're going to tell me Stacey Jones is so easy to pronounce. But um, I did touch on it, Jordan Rapana. He did take the early guilty plea for his grade one shoulder charge. He act, this is his third, apparently, so this wraps up a three-match suspension. He wasn't going to be silly and do the Will uh, Wade Graham incident and, and get it challenged and lose. So takes three games. He'll be back for round four. Um, Albert Hopawate has to show why he should keep that wing position. Um, yeah, they look good in moments, like not to sort of – not shine a light, but we we did stupid things and they made us pay um, last weekend. But other than that, they didn't really offer that much. Like if you take those silly moments from us away, I didn't really see this Canberra side offering a lot up front. Um, I know it's only round one, but come on. I think the dogs had more of a fighting go at it and they, they only managed to put six points on the board. So hopefully they can turn it around and 
get a two points on the road. But as I said, if you're a betting man and I'm not, I'm going to back the Dolphins in a comfortable 1-12. to What about you, Tony? Yeah, obviously, we didn't touch on, obviously, Mason Teague for the Dolphins is lining up for his NRL debut. That is because Ray Stone is out. So that is a big out for the Dolphins, obviously, Ray Stone. He's coming back from a knee surgery. He has knee bruising, so they're obviously take him. All precaution. For me, I don't want to say that they got up for that one game, and I am going to side with them. I'm going to side with you in that 1-12 to victory because I think Canberra can produce something special. But for me, the Dolphins just looked way too good last week that you're not going to back them in round two unless they're playing a Panthers, a Melbourne in Melbourne, a Parramatta at Parramatta. If that was one of those games, I'm probably changing my mind. But purely based off how they performed last week, I'm going with the Dolphins 1-12. to I'll continue that trend with you.